office. It is a great pleasure to once again host you here to talk about issues that are important to residents of Mississauga, residents of, uh, of Peel region, and in general, Canadians. Uh, and we talk about the issues that matter most. And today, we are gathered here with our phenomenal Minister of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship uh, to talk about an issue that has been flagged for us uh, by uh, a number, a very high number of uh, Pakistani Canadians or Canadians of Pakistani heritage. Uh, that uh, an issue that really is, is one strand or one bridge between the relationship that exists between Pakistan and Canada. And over the past 10 years, we've watched that this relationship and these bridges that we use, such as immigration, uh, such as uh, students' information sharing, people-to-people uh, -people relationships, trade, uh, adoptions, these bridges that we use to, to really connect two countries together over the past 10 years really withered away. And with the advocacy, with the feedback of Canadians, and with the teamwork of my fellow members of parliament with our amazing immigration minister, we've been able to take a number of steps towards really rebuilding, re-engaging with a country that is near and dear to a lot of Canadians um, who are not only of Pakistani heritage, but Canadians in general who want to do trade, who want to tour Pakistan, who, who want to build those relationships. So today, uh, the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, the Honorable Ahmed Hussain, has a number of things uh, to update uh, the Pakistani community and, and the Canadian community on with respect to how we are continuing to rebuild that relationship. And I'm joined by two very strong advocates uh, for the Pakistani Canadian community. On my right here is Rob Oliphant. Rob, I think uh, his constituency holds the highest number of Pakistani Canadians in the country. Is that right, Rob? We may be shrinking a bit, but we have the best ones. <laughs> I was nice. That's uh, but Rob is also the co-chair uh, of the Canada-Pakistan Friendship Group in Parliament, uh, which we started up uh, in, in these past four years. He's, he's done a lot of phenomenal advocacy work with respect to building up humanitarian aid, uh, international development, uh, increasing trade. Uh, he's, he's really... Uh, been a strong advocate for Pakistan and, and that relationship, that people-to-people -people relationship between uh, Pakistan and Canada. Uh, and on the left, we have Ruby Sahota. Ruby has been, uh, please, a round of applause for this powerful lady. Ruby has been uh, tireless in, in her advocacy and her dedication to ensuring that the feedback that is received by her uh, in her community uh, is 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 advocated for, is highlighted, and that awareness is raised. And I am both of these members of parliament will be speaking uh, after the minister provides his updates, but uh, I, I just have to say that our team is strong, our team is phenomenal, our team is dedicated, and our team listens to what our constituents have to say. So with that, I will give the floor to uh, our Minister of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship, the Honorable Ahmed Hussain. Uh, and I will say that after the minister speaks, Rob and Ruby will say a few words and then we'll open up the floor for questioning. And we ask that the questions are reserved only for the media. And we know who the media are. <laughs> and I'll be moderating the questions. Thank you very much. Minister Hussain. Thank you very much. Uh, and they know who they are. Uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, Ikram, for hosting us all our colleagues. Uh, Salma Zahid is on her way. Uh, she's another great champion of the uh, Pakistani Canadian community and a wonderful uh, member of parliament, hardworking, and I had uh, the opportunity to be with her a few days ago in her, in her writing. I want to also, of course, acknowledge uh, the presence of Rob Alifant and uh, Ruby Sahora, uh, who I work very closely with. And uh, I want to begin by acknowledging that the land we're gathered here on today is uh, on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of New Credit. Uh, and, you know, uh, we're here because I want to re-emphasize the point that uh, our government understands the vital role that immigration plays in our communities, in our country, in our economy, uh, and to our future prosperity. And we've all uh, worked uh, 
on this table on a number of issues related to immigration, whether it is family reunification, whether it is uh, uh, facilitation for international students, or whether it is doubling down or tripling down on economic immigration and skilled programs that have really made Canada the leader in attracting the best and the brightest from around the world. We are the government that introduced the global skills strategy that has cut processing time for highly skilled people from seven months to 10 business days. That's not, that's not an easy achievement. We got it done because we were told by employers and by businesses from coast to coast to coast that we have to get talent to Canada and we have to get it here fast. Uh, we met a number of months ago um, in April and there we had an opportunity to update you on the number of things that we've been able to collectively do together. Rob Oliphant in his capacity as chair, uh, past chair of the uh, Citizenship and Immigration Community, we work very closely together to achieve a lot of these uh, reforms and improvements. And I see Gagan Sikhan uh, walking in. Gagan, please join us, our colleague and member of parliament. Uh, we understood, for example, that families were being kept apart for too long, for up to three years, sometimes longer. And Pakistani foreign nationals who were being sponsored by their spouses and their children to Canada were one of the hardest hit, and they had some of the long